All right, the last of the three limited time series for the current mini update is here. Lamborghini Mira Championship for 50 gold in my case since uh, I already own the car. If you don't own it, this is a great opportunity to pick one up for a um, hefty discount actually. Um, but in my case, right now I have uh, the racing dollar upgrades on this car, all the racing dollar upgrades on this car. So current PR of mine here, let's uh, check out my car, which has uh, 15 upgrades. And that's how far you can bring this car's PR up to using racing dollars only, no gold. The base PR for the car is uh, 10.5. So as you can see, racing dollars will bring it up to 24.5. And the car itself, um, obviously the PR in 20s isn't exactly um, anything to write home about, uh, but it is a pretty pricey car. It, I believe, um, actually let me look up the stats here. Uh, 490 gold is the normal price so even if you get like the showcase discount which would be 20 percent um let's see so you get maybe like 90 let's say around yeah 90 gold ish off that's still 400 gold so it's not a cheap car for what it can do because you know it's not exactly uh, yeah it, it's slow <laughs> there I said it it's beautiful but it's slow um, so yeah we'll see if I how I decide to go about this so anyway let's jump in check out the series at least uh, we'll see how far I decide to go with this one um, 1971 Lamborghini Miura by 100% completing this special limited time series. Truly classic Lamborghini with a design that would inspire supercars for years to come. Yeah, it's a beauty. Anyway, uh, the usual 15 tier limited time series. And here's the prize breakdown. Uh, 5 gold for first 25% um, and 50% and then 75% completion is 10 gold and then of course the last one is the one gives you the rest the 30 gold in my case or if you don't own the car that's when you get to win the car um, as usual if you want to complete the series you have to bring your PR let's say up to uh, 37.1 I believe is what I um, what I remember seeing which means you have to bring this car's PR uh, uh, you have to spend quite a bit on upgrade so let's see in terms of uh, here I'll jump in with this first endurance to check out what it looks like so right now if you don't spend any gold then you can bring your PR up to 24.5 as I was saying earlier now in order to um, if you don't own the car in order to win it you would have to bring your engine up to well uh, seven upgrades into engine which is you can guess it that's gonna be pretty expensive and then the drivetrain uh, you need to max it out by adding that extra fourth upgrade and the body you need to bring it up to uh, tier four so the next gold upgrade and then the cash upgrade for the fourth tier and then let's see uh, suspension you need to max it out exhaust you need to max out pretty much everything else you have to max out so the to total cost of gold to bring your PR up to required 37.1 is going to be 248 gold so remember car cost almost 500 gold 
So if you don't own it, you can think of it as you're getting 50% discount on the car, which is a pretty good deal. And you also get a whole lot of upgrades. So that's not a bad deal. So if you don't own the car, definitely run the series. It's worth it, I think, for 50% discount with all the upgrades that you get. Now, if you already have the car, like in my case, um, let's see, I get 50 gold back for completing, which means in order to get 50 gold back, I have to spend about 250. So that is what, like 20% discount for the a set of upgrades. I guess that's the way you can consider it. So is it worth it? I mean, 20% discount on upgrades would be considered about average. There has been some that's less, so it's better than less, obviously. But obviously, uh, then again, we've seen a lot of upgrade discounts that's 25% or higher. Um, obviously, those would be nicer. <laughs> but without knowing if that kind of upgrades ever gonna come our way you know gotta do what you gotta do so for now I'll see how far this uh, I can go in the series with the uh, racing dollar upgrades only so with 24.5 and once I hit the wall well we'll decide what to do from there but uh, with that being said let's get going on this first endurance race at Suzuka East Circuit. 5.8 kilometers is what I have to hit. And currently there's a, what do you call it? The customization uh, discount going on. So that's still gold discount. It's not like customization for racing dollars, which if that were the case, I would get all of them. But, uh, eh, don't really care to spend gold on um, customizing, at least I would much rather upgrade the car, and uh, if I want to customize it, I will just, you know, go with a full upgrade, because I think it will probably end up costing about something comparable. Just the thought. Alright, what was the target distance again? Four point something or other, right? That's what I saw. So it should be a pretty easy goal. Any endurance distance that's a single digit. Yeah, it's pretty manageable. Well, here's the deal. I can try to run through this uh, series, or I could use that time to close out my other uh, Formula E series and NASCAR series, which I think will probably yield more reward than this uh, limited time series. And as I said, uh, I already own the car, so. Uh, this is gonna hurt my motivation for completing this series, you know? <laughs> um, we'll see. As I said, I'll see when I get to the, the end of the road with Racing Dollars only uh, races here. And I will decide. I guess it was 5.9, not 4.9, 5.6, there you go, 5.8 is the target distance as it turns out. Oh, butter for brakes too, this car. But since we got some time to kill, and I'm not gonna race anymore, because that'll uh, obviously wear down the service, the duration of the car. 
Look at the steering wheel, that's pretty cool. I love those classic steering wheels. The interior looks pretty awesome. I do like the, the stick, the gear shift or shifter. And uh, let's see. I feel like this car would have um, one of those crankshaft for the windshield, wouldn't it, right? 1971? See, did they have power windows back then? 71. I don't know. I'll have to find out the history of power windows. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, 71 seems like awfully early. Maybe they did have some of those. I mean, after all, this was a pretty fancy car at the time when it was... Oh, I, I would say it still is quite fancy. Um, anyway, that does it for race one of this Lamborghini Mira championship. So, um, yeah. So this one is going to be a little different because I'm not I'm not sure if I want to upgrade this car any more than what it already has. Um, let's see. The car is featured in Clash of the Classics. That's a bonus series in the Legends section of your career. And in order to complete that series, you do need to bring your one of your cars that's in that series up to like 40 PR40 or something like that. And uh, I think uh, Kuntash is the cheaper way to go in order to meet that PR. So, like, that's what I mean. This car does not really have a whole lot of purpose um, in that sense. If you enjoy the car, then, hey, upgrade to your heart's content, drive, have fun. But... If you're a little bit more purpose-driven in terms of what you do with these cars, then uh, yeah, something to consider, right? So anyway, see you in the next video.